This video is provided as supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I'm going to show how to do a linear programming problem. So here's the problem. It says, a furniture company makes bookshelves and desks. Each shelf requires two hours for carpentry work and one hour for painting. Each desk requires three hours for carpentry and four hours for painting. The company has a maximum of 60 hours of carpentry work and 40 hours of painting available each week. And they make a profit of $15 per shelf and $40 per desk. How many shelves and how many desks should they make? Okay, there's a lot of information in here. To make it a little clearer, what I want to do is turn this information into a table. So we know we're dealing with shelves and desks. So I'll make a row for shelves and a row for desks. And let's say the number of shelves is going to be X and the number of desks they make is Y. Okay, they've got carpentry time that they've got to take into account. So I'm going to make a column for the carpentry time they use. And they've got painting. I'll make a column for painting. And they've got profit. Okay, let's fill in the information now. Okay, so for each shelf, each shelf requires two hours for carpentry. So I want a two for the carpentry and one hour for painting. And each desk requires three hours of carpentry work and four hours for painting. The company has a maximum of 60 hours for carpentry work. So the total amount that they can spend have for carpentry is 60 hours. And they've got a total of 40 hours for painting. They make a profit. They make a profit of $15 per shelf and $40 per desk. Okay, now let's take the information in the table and make some inequalities. In terms of carpentry time, if the shelves take two hours, then the total amount of time for the shelves they make would be two times x, two times two hours times the number of shelves. When they make a desk, it takes three hours, so that's going to be three times y, three times the number of desks they make. And that has to be less than or equal to 60 hours, the total amount they have available. For painting, it only takes one hour to paint a shelf. So we'll have 1x plus 4y, since it takes four hours to paint a desk. And that has to be less than or equal to 40. Now, let's also remember that they can't make a negative number of shelves or a negative number of desks. So that means x has to be greater than or equal to zero, and y has to be greater than or equal to zero. So when we make, it, when we make a graph, the graph is going to be just in the first quadrant. So let's draw a rough graph, and let's figure out where the x and y intercepts are for that first inequality. Well, if I look at that inequality, I've got 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 60. So the x-intercept is going to happen when y is 0. So let's think of this as an equation, 2x equals 60, which would mean that x would equal 30. So we have an x-intercept over here at 30. For the y-intercept, since that happens on the y-axis when x is 0, we'll just take 3y equals 60 and solve that. If we divide three, have 3y three equals 60 and divide both sides by 3, we get y equals 20. So I've got the x and y intercept for the first inequality. I'll just connect those with a line. And let's shade underneath that.
Okay, now we do the same procedure for the second inequality. I've got 1x plus 4y is less than or equal to 40. So to find the, the x-intercept, I'll have y be 0, which means it's just 1x equals 40. So the y-intercept is going to be at 40. For the x-intercept, I'm sorry, the x-intercept is at 40. For the y-intercept, I'll make x into 0. So I've just got 4y equals 40, which means y would equal 10. I've got the two intercepts. I can connect them with a line. And I'll shade the area underneath that second line. So now the feasible region, the area I'm looking at, is the part where I've got shading with both colors. The next step is going to be, whoops, I forgot to say that this is 10. The next step is going to be to find all four corner points for this region. I know three of them. I'll know what the R, that there's a corner point at the origin. So that's 0, 0. Over here where I'm on the x-axis, that's 30, comma, 0. And on the y-axis, I'm at 0, comma, 10. I want to find this last corner point where the two lines intersect. So to do that, I'm going to take the inequalities and turn them into equations. And then I'll solve this system of equations to find out what x and y are. I'll do that by multiplying the second equation by negative 2. So I have negative 2x minus, oops, minus 8y equals 80. And I'll copy the other equation over. That's 2x plus 3y equals 60. That should be negative 80. I add the two equations together, and I get negative 5y equals negative 20. So if I divide both sides by negative 4, negative 5, I get y equals 4. Okay, so that's one of the coordinates. Now let's take that y equals 4 and plug it into this equation, 1x plus 4y equals 40, and we'll find out what x is. So I'll have 1x plus 4 times 4, which is 16, equals 40. If I subtract 16 from both sides, I get x equals 24. Okay, so now I've got my last corner point. Now we can try to figure out how the company will make the most profits. So let's make a profit equation. The profit the company makes, P, would be equal to $15 times the number of shelves, so that's 15x, plus $40 times the number of desks, so that's 40y. Okay, so let's start with the origin. The profit at the origin, when x is 0 and y is 0, the profit would just be 0. They're not selling any desks or shelves, so there's no profit involved. If we go over here to 30 comma 0, this is what happens when they make 30 shelves and no desks. At 30 comma 0, we want 30, which is x, times 15, that's 450, and 0 times 40 is 0. So the profit there would be $450. If all they do is make desks, that's this point here on the y-axis. They don't make any profit from shelves, so it's 15 times 0. Let's put those coordinates at 0 and 10. But they make 10 desks, $40 for each desk, so they make a profit of $400. So, so far it looks like their best, their best bet would, to be made, would be to make 30 shelves and no desks. Let's try this last point. This is 24 comma 4, which means they make 24 shelves and 4 desks. Okay, 24 times 15 is 360. And then they're making 4 desks, so that's 4 times 40 is 160. 
360 plus 160 is 520. So the best thing they can do is make 24 shelves and four desks each week. Okay? Take care. I'll see you next time.